Okay guys, so this thing is back in the garage and you know that can only mean one thing. We are ready to finish the O5 Plus Super Duty uh, swap on this thing. So we're gonna focus on getting the coil springs done and the radius arm brackets done. So hopefully we can finish that here pretty soon. Okay guys, so one of the things that I did before I jacked this thing up and tear it apart is I actually took a whole bunch of measurements to um, make sure the coil bucket basically goes back in the same spot that it is because where it's at is basically perfect. The only thing that's going to move about that coil bucket is that, is that it's basically going to tilt out a little bit. Um, it's really hard to really show you on video. You maybe can kind of see it right here, but the coil buckets tilt in a little bit on the, um, on the OBS trucks because the frames are narrower than the Super Duties. So uh, that's one of the things that I'm gonna fix with my coil buckets. I'm just gonna make sure that they sit pretty much level as well as the uh, the shock. So now that I took all those measurements, like I said, I'm gonna jack this thing up, take, uh, well, pretty much the whole front end apart so that I can take those coil buckets off. I already have kind of like a rough draft uh, coil bucket uh, designed, so I'm gonna go ahead basically burn that out on my CNC table, install it on the frame. Uh, basically the way that I have it is I made it in a way to make sure that all my bolt, bolt holes are gonna line up with, um, not these bolt holes, but um, the original OBS uh, shock tower bolts. Uh, those four, and then we're probably gonna have to drill out like two more holes on the frame, uh, cause I wanna use six, <laughs> six bolts uh, total on the side of the frame and then two on the bottom so again like i said i'm gonna go ahead check this thing up uh and really go ahead and get that done because that's gonna be the hardest part <laughs> hopefully okay guys here we go we got the coil bucket done uh that's it it's gonna be out of uh eighth inch just kidding <laughs> just kidding um this is basically i guess we could call it our prototype um more or less, I made this to be kind of like the uh, like the base for my coil bucket and to know uh, one, where all the holes need to be and if the ones that I already have on there line up. But what this is gonna allow me to do is basically precisely locate everything where I actually wanna have it. So it's gonna allow me to have like all the holes. So it's gonna have these four holes, two at the bottom and then probably two more somewhere around here and what i'm thinking about doing is using basically these two holes which on the 08 coil bucket used to be these two holes these two holes right here uh that way one i won't have to drill any more holes onto my coil bucket and if you already had um at least the 08 coil buckets i gotta figure out i think i think i'm actually I think I'm actually gonna order a set of 05 coil buckets uh, just to have them in here and see the differences between, between the two of them because I know that they are different. Uh, for one, the 05s don't have this hump right there. Um, I do know that uh, from 08 to like 16, at least they are all the same, um, but I know that from 05 to 07 to 08, uh, they were different. So, so like I said, I gotta bring a set of those in and see just how different they really are. But anyways, like I was saying, um, we are going to be using these four stock holes, which every OBS should have. Um, at least every four-wheel drive OBS should have those because that's where your um, your shock tower used to bolt to. Now, as well as those, every OBS should have. Hopefully, you can see, but this hole and that hole—that's where your uh, bump stop used to be. So we're also going to use those two bolt holes. And like I said, I think I'm going to try and use these um, as well. Uh, again, these would be the only two that you would have to drill. Uh, but anyway, so what I'm going to do right now is get that thrown on the uh, frame, get it tight with like one or two bolts, and then throw the coil spring back on, lift the axle back in place, and uh, just see how it sits and mark some spots on this thing of where I'm going to need to have uh, like the coil bucket uh, centering pin, um, the spring, the, the uh, shock hole, all that stuff. We're going to have to figure out exactly where I'm going to have it on here. So yeah, it's going to be fun, but it shouldn't be really that hard. Um, I'm actually kind of excited about doing it. Okay guys, so I already have the uh, mock-up, I guess the base of the coil bucket on there. And I marked a, a few things that are going to be really, really important for... Uh, for us and one it's probably pretty hard to see but i marked the exact locations of the coil how it's going to sit on there 
um, the angle, basically where to locate it exactly so that I can put that center and pin where it needs to be. And I also took the measurement for exactly where the shock has to be. And the last things that I have to do is mark the exact location of the bolt uh, holes on the frame. So for that right there, as well as for the bottom and for the other two that we're gonna be adding to this. So once I have all of that marked, I'm gonna take this back off, get all those measurements, and uh, basically transfer them back to my computer and get all of that done properly. So now once all of that is done properly and is at the right place where I want it to be for this thing to function, function basically identically to that uh, coil bucket because that's kind of my goal for this to make sure that um, that coil bucket has the exact same dimensions as that thing and it functions the way that it would have functioned on the Super Duty frame. So again, uh, I definitely want to try and get this done with as little prototyping as I can, meaning that like I don't want to burn one of those out and then burn another one and another one. Definitely the way that I should be doing this and that would save me a lot of um, at least money because you guys think wood is expensive right now. You should see the uh, price on metal. It is ridiculous. Um, it, it honestly bums me out having this business right now with how expensive uh, metal is. Um, and honestly, I've been doing my best to like not increase the prices on my products but uh as long as it doesn't go up anymore uh we should be good but it it definitely makes it harder on me which kind of sucks but at least like i said you guys have been killing it with orders you know keeping me really busy but anyways like i said with all these measurements i'm pretty sure that uh once i get this uh prototype fixed on the computer and basically print out another one burn out another one um it'll be pretty much there the only things that we're gonna have to do is um basically make it look pretty uh right now like i said it's super basic i didn't want to really spend too much time on making it look nice um all i really wanted to do was uh make sure that it was going to function properly bolt up properly the way that i wanted to so again I am pretty happy with the way that this thing's uh, looking right now. So, yeah. Also, oh, kind of along the same lines so, of uh, metal and prices and all that being really high. Um, um, on some of the products that I'm selling from the metal, I have a lot of leftover and it really kills me how, uh, seeing how much uh, scrap I have left over. So I kind of thought about maybe adding some stuff to the website, um, basically to take advantage of as much metal and keep my scrap as low as possible. So I kind of came up with a few, with an idea, I guess. And that's making little keychains like this, basically uh, bottle openers that say OBS. Um, so if you're interested in something like that, definitely let me know down below because selling things like this would really, really help me out again um, with the way that things are right now and it would really, really would help the uh, channel. I think they look pretty cool. I think we would add a little hole right here so we can have it as a keychain or whatever. Um, I still have to do some modifying to this thing. Uh, definitely didn't turn out like I wanted it to, but uh, it's really some simple fixes. All I have to say though is this, that it does function and it does open a, uh, a bottle. So yeah, what do you guys think about this and should I, should I say OBS or should I say something else? Hey guys, so I spent the uh, last couple of days, um, almost the last week actually, working on those uh, coil buckets and I am pretty close to a final product I'm going to show you here in a little bit. But I've also spent a little bit of time cleaning up the uh, Centurion because we're going to start driving this thing a lot more. And uh, I gotta say, it looks pretty good. I don't know if you can really see anything, but I cleaned up the uh, tires on it. Um, I didn't really have any any uh, tire cleaner or shine or anything, so I just used some uh, good old elbow grease and uh, one of these brushes to clean tires, and um, it did pretty good. Again, it didn't really shine it up, but it looks nice, it looks clean. That one still has a little bit of brown right there, but overall it looks pretty good, and it really changed the look of the truck. It made it look uh, a little bit cleaner just I don't know it really helped the tires were all brown and stuff and they just it made the truck look um, even older so I went ahead and cleaned all those up it really did make a difference so I'm pretty happy with that okay but now the part that I'm really excited for the actual oil buckets and I haven't actually burnt one out and put it together yet so like I said it's still just a prototype on my computer but I'm really happy with it okay so I think I've been filming this whole video on wide and I didn't realize, so I'm sorry guys, uh, I fixed it already. But anyways, let me show you 
the coil bucket. So here is kind of what I'm thinking is going to be the final um, prototype. And I really gotta learn how to freaking do uh, screen recordings because it's probably better than this. But anyways, uh, this is like I said, what I'm thinking is gonna be um, our coil bucket. I'm about 95-ish, 99% done with it. Uh, but I think it looks super, super cool. And like I said, um, all of these locations right here like for the coil bucket the centering pin the shock um, everything is basically the same as the OEM coil bucket so it'll still it'll, it'll still basically have the same geometry as if you were putting an OEM 05 plus coil bucket um, so pretty excited about that like I said the only things that we did change um, is that this spacing from here so the frame is a little bit uh, further out so that our spring basically sits level instead of kind of angled in towards the uh, towards the frame and we've got our two mounting locations on the bottom and our six on the side of the frame and we'll be probably putting this together in the next couple of days and trying it out on the truck so like i said i am super super excited i've also been super super busy you guys have been killing it with orders like i've been saying and it's just it makes me so happy that you guys believe in my company believe in my product um and you think it's worth uh your money uh it's, it really is a huge honor because this is stuff that i am so proud of uh of me doing what i'm doing and i poured so much time and so much effort into making sure that i'm giving you guys a quality product and the fact like i'm saying that you guys actually want to buy the stuff that i'm selling um it really makes me happy and again huge huge thanks to all of you guys that have been uh, purchasing stuff um, i'm actually amongst designing all this stuff i've been in the mid middle of um actually putting together a few uh track bar brackets that we got on order over the last week and by the time you see this video uh, anyone that's purchased one of these um, will be either on its way to you or it should already be uh, delivered to you um, again this is well minus this this is a uh, sway bar bracket but all of this is what it takes to make uh, one track bar bracket which if you guys haven't seen um, uh, I'm sorry I've never painted this thing I'm actually gonna be doing that um, before I finish all of this I'm gonna be either taking it off or just Pro R15 uh, this thing and some Rust-Oleum which is kind of what's on the whole frame uh, just Rust-Oleum my dad helped me a lot with cleaning it up and painting this thing and it turned out so good but yeah this is our track bar bracket um, again I'm super proud of this thing it's super super beefy it fits on the frame like perfectly contour, contour to it it's got this I, I don't I really really like it and I think it's one of the best looking uh, track bar brackets out there the angles, everything on this thing is perfect. Um, and these are, this is actually our old design for the uh, sway bar brackets. The new design is a little bit different, um, but still looks pretty much the same. I just did a few little improvements to it. Um, like I said, I've been super busy. I gotta knock out those strike bar brackets and then jump onto the actual coil spring brackets, coil springs, which will be on the next video. Um, so hopefully, like I said, on the next video, we'll be burning that out, installing it, on the, installing it on the truck. And then while the truck's still in here, we'll be moving to designing this, the uh, radius arm bracket. And once that's done, basically the whole front kit, um, at least the basic form of it will be done. Um, eventually, I do want to do the um, CF5 cross member. Uh, but for now, I just want to be sure that I have, you know, this product out to you guys. Because that's going to be, that's that's been one of the highest requested products for me to have the whole kit done. Um, the whole idea of the way that I did this is I wanted to at first kind of uh, provide, uh, have out to you guys the two products they really, really needed for this swap, which was the track bar bracket and the sway bar bracket. Because the coil spring bucket and the uh, radius arm bracket, you can obviously make work from the uh, Super Duty. You just have to drill a few extra holes like I did on my frame. So these six holes but you know as well as the uh the radius on bracket you have to drill just a few more holes but other than you know having to drill more more holes it's basically a um 
a bolt-in deal. Uh, so basically what my coil buckets do is they utilize um, most of the uh, holes that are already on your frame so you don't have to drill that many more. So you'll use these four like I've been talking about and then two down below. And then you'll just have to drill out these two and that's it. And for the track bar bracket, um, you don't drill any holes on the frame over here. You just make them bigger. And then on the cross member, on the engine cradle cross member, um, you drill out three holes. But like I said, it's fairly easy to install. Um, the sway bar brackets, those you don't drill any holes at all. The holes are already on there for um, for two wheel drive trucks, or I believe pretty much all the uh, TTB um, trucks, so F250s or two wheel drive trucks have the sway bars right here. So you use basically those locations to install the sway bars and again like i said i am super super happy with the way that this design is turning out um i really can't wait to put one of these together and uh test it out because at least here in the computer it looks really really cool i am super happy with it and like i've been saying i'm just so excited to have this whole kit done because we're gonna first do this kit and then i have so many other uh products that i want to develop and uh again you guys supporting the business the way you have is really gonna help us really push this business to the, to the uh, next level which i'm already this close to taking the next step um which hopefully within the next couple of months um we can do a few cool things that are really going to help us out and yeah guys again don't forget to hit that like button it really really helps us out a whole bunch if you guys drop a like drop a comment subscribe it really helps the channel um but yeah again do those things if you like drop a comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you for the next one